Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. What's today? I want to apologize in advance because the microphone's kind of stuck. I'm just using one on the PlayStation controller. But anyway, don't worry about that. Um, I have resolved from the title. By the way, I'm eating an apple, so sorry for the ASMR. But as you saw from the title, today we are going to be learning how to create and or edit a player and then actually add them to a team now before this starts when you create when you, what, what, by i mean add them to a, te a team i mean like you can go into play now and use them i don't think you can use them in franchise march to october you might be able to use them in custom leagues i think you can but like you can't use them in diamond dynasty you won't be able to buy your player and stuff like that so what you're going to want to do is you want to go to create an edit player. You're going to create a player. You, this stuff isn't really important. And if you mess up, you can go back and do it later. So, um, basically what you do, this is where you like edit your player, add all the stuff to them. So I already did it, so I'm just going to be showing you how to add it to a team and how to actually use the stuff. So, once you create a player... Yeah. Once you create a player, you'll press finish, and you want to go to free agent pool and export player. Not just free agent pool, make sure it's free agent pool and export player. So you go to that, you can create a new one, call it whatever you want, and then make sure you save it. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so then, once you create it, you want to go to roster control. Just the normal roster control. Scroll down to the team that you want. I'm going to do the Pittsburgh Pirates. You go to Manage Roster slash Import Player. And then you could just do it straight off of this, but I think it's more organized and easier if you just go to the position that you set your guy to be. So that's the main thing. When you create your player, you have to make sure you set a position. So this is my guy, on the Perrin. Don't worry about the attributes. Don't worry about the fact that he's a one over all. I'm good at baseball in real life. But, okay. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to... So, you can see all these stats here that I'm going through, right? Yeah, you can see all these. They don't really matter, though. So, you want to go all the way to the left. I mean, you should see this one. It's 40 men. That means it's the player on the 40 man roster. So, you're going to see all these people that are yes and no. You want to find someone that says that says yes to the 40 men, and you're going to press on them, and then you're going to press remove from 40 men roster. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it, but it's pretty simple, that's what you got to do. But then, don't lose track of the play that you did, because then what you want to do is you want to press X again, and you want to do move to... Okay, I can't do it because I already have it on here, but as you can see, so we've said it'll be moved to AAA, moved to AA. They should be one that says move to class A. So that's the one that you're going to want to press. So like, here, yeah, we'll do Joshua, for example, move to class A. Uh, I already moved him to class A, so that's why it's not letting me do it. So then, you press X, you're going to press import position player. You'll have your save file that you just press X and it'll bring it in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to press add to 40 man roster. And then when you do that, you're going to press move to MLB. My guys are already in the MLB, that's why I thought they would press it. So don't worry about that. But there will be a setting, so like this guy, so you move to MLB right there. Okay, kind of complicated, but as long as you've done all that, it's not going to let you leave because there should be like a little check in one of those boxes. All you have to do is just press square and it will automatically fix the roster. You should be fine as long as you follow those steps that I just told you. But you always just want to make sure just to go into the team again. Go to manage roster and stuff. Go to the position. Make sure they're in the MLB and make sure they're actually on this list. And make sure they're on the 40 man roster. Okay, so you want to go back to edit player, you just want to choose your team, and then just find your player, you edit them, you could have done this before, but I think it's easier to do this now, 
So I've already done general, I think, physical appearance, motions and sounds. Dang it, screw that up. So basically, you can just go through all of these pretty easy. You can just choose your batting songs, move your hands around, uh, animations, running style, and all this stuff. I'm sorry, it's pretty simple. All this stuff doesn't really matter. You can play, you go this. You can do Tim Anderson backflip. Boom. Um, you can do music. Let me just set some because I'm actually making a player. And that stop point doesn't really matter. I'm not sure how to change it. You can probably just look up the video. I'm not sure how to like actually make this stop point. I'm not sure if it's even possible. There probably is a way, because otherwise they wouldn't add it in. Okay, so then these two last ones are actually the fun part. Equipment. So, uniform. You can do like a chain or a necklace thin or thick. Uh, you can just control all that. Glove. You can, and then with all these, you can just choose through everything you want. So, all the glove brands and every brand, they're going to be put into categories. So, you have Wilson's. Then you have Adidas, All Star, Louisville, 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 Marucci, Marucci. So they're not just scattered all around the place. I'm going to do Rolling Tall the Hype because that's the glove that I actually own. I'm not going to do the same clothes that I have. We'll do it Pittsburgh Pirate Colors. I already did this today. I just didn't save it because I felt like I should do a video. Because I know this kind of stuff is hard, and like, a lot of people don't figure it out on their own. So you can choose finger in or out, you can choose batting glove underneath, and then yeah. Bat, you can choose all this. You can do all that, you can do logo color. You can do tape, which is a grip, and then you do get to choose which one you want. I don't like tape on my bat, so I'm not going to do that. All that. Batting gloves, you could do one or both. Um, got some cool Jordan ones. Again, I'm trying to make my guys realistic as possible, so I'm gonna find the ones that I actually have. Which is this one, but yeah. So this is the one that I have. The ones, the ones that I have. Do gloves and pocket or not? Uh, helmet style. Um, protective is the default. It's what a lot of the pros wear. And then if a lot of the older players, like not older players, but like early 2010s, they wore ventilated. And then miners, obviously, if you want to, if you're a kid and you want to make it as realistic as possible, you can do rulings match pro, which is like what a lot of the pros are switching to nowadays. Um, and then basic, nobody uses that in real life, so I mean, so I'm just gonna go with protective, because that's what I'd have. Um, helmet flaps, one or two, doesn't matter. Chin guard, you can do one if you want. Um, if you do do two, you do have to have another side. This one looks pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I'll have it just because. Tar and helmet, that's just this. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Caps are normal or low. You can choose, you can just choose this as well. Yeah. Um, elbow guard, again, it's basically like this. I'm just gonna go through all this just because I actually do want to like make my guy. But yeah. Um, where is it? Running a wrist guard, that's just that. I'm not sure if you guys would want that or not. I'm actually gonna go with one. I'm gonna put it on my right hand. Color black. That's you don't really need another color because they're not supposed to be too fancy. Um. 
um, bands that just sweatbands. <clears throat> uh, I don't wear um, bands really, well, not anymore, because I wear a bunch of other stuff. The wristbands, same thing, except it's lower. Um, find it. Okay, wrist guards. Yeah, I'm gonna have one of those, but on my left. If you don't know, these are just for batting. Um, and just in case you get hit in the wrist, you a lot of people do use them for fielding though. They just flip it over. Again, I'm gonna go with real life sleeves. Okay, yep, three quarters. All right, compression sleeve. I want it to be on my right. I do have an Evo Shield one. I have a lot of Evo Shield. Um, oh. Let's go white. That actually looks pretty cool. I did wear wrist tape, but I have all this stuff on, so I don't knock it away. I wear batting. I'll do both. Which one do I want? Um, these are the ones that I have in real life. I just don't wear them. I have a different kind. Frame color, um, white. Blue. I'll do blue because that's what I actually have. We'll do gold or yellow for the pirates. Eye black, you can choose. Um, cleats, um, I have ordered some cleats, but I, I honestly don't know if they're coming because of Corona. These are actually the ones I have, so yeah. Well, the ones that I ordered. Um, I'm just going to keep it on the colors. Um, catcher's mask. This doesn't really matter. Um, that is a hockey mask. Like, that's not even a catcher's mask. That is a hockey mask. Like, actually... Anyway, so, I mean, unless you're playing catcher, or unless you plan on putting yourself as catcher, this does not matter. Alright, and now for one of the, the other fun part, this is basically the um, actual stats. So, batting can see whole field, you can do whatever you want. I'm more full hitter myself. Potential, that's your overall, so um, I'll be a 99 overall, I mean... Obviously, I am, because you know, I'm in the major leagues, and yeah, I'm just kidding. But I am going to make myself a 99. So I'm going to make them as realistic as possible. So the disappointing thing is, you can only go up to a 99. You can't go up to a 125 like in Diamond Dynasty. So that's kind of disappointing. But I mean, that's still cool. Yeah, I am trying to make this realistic. Bunting. My bunting ability is probably 1. Actually, no. No one is probably 20. This is probably 10. Um, plate vision. My vision is good. I make a lot of contact when I play baseball. And I hit dingers sometimes. Um, my name is Big Al and I hit dingers. Uh, play discipline. This is really, like, if you want to hit it far, then you want this to be high. So I'm going to put that pretty high. Batting clutch. I'm pretty clutch. I've hit a few walk-off home runs, triples. You know what I mean. So that's... I'm going to put it on the 95, actually. Endurability. I'm always in the mood to play baseball. So I'd say my... So no matter if I'm like feeling tired or whatever, I'd still play. So I'm gonna say my jersey is like actually I'll put it around at 90. My speed is not the best. I'm a bit of a slow boy. But it's I'm not putting it too high. I I I think that looks good. Um No, I'm slow. I'm like 60 probably. 
arm strength. I actually do have a pretty good arm. I do play some outfield, so I'll put my arm at like 80. Um, arm accuracy. Mostly accurate. It can be a little bit inaccurate at times. So I'll put that at around 86, because why not? Reaction. I don't, sometimes I don't pay attention, but I'd say my reaction is okay. I'm going to put that at 70. Fielding ability. Eh, it's okay. Um, I put that at 80 probably. Stealing. Um, I'd say I get some decent drums. Put that at 70. And base running aggressiveness is kind of low. I don't like to steal. Alright, so yeah, and then that's basically it. Okay, make sure you save your changes. Boom. And now your guy's at the top because depending on how you made them, he's probably like really good. Um So yeah, that's me. Now he looks kind of accurate to what I'd be like. If my stats if I was on steroids and an adult, this is probably how I'd be. Um Ooh, let's see the quirks. Hitting machine excels on at getting base hits, excels at hitting home runs, rarely misses the ball when swinging. That's actually kind of true, as long as hitting and hitting machine. Excels at drawing walks and check swinging. Okay. Has an extremely active throwing arm, performs better when there are runners on base. Alright. Cool. So yeah, I like that. Um, and yeah, that is about my feeling, I guess. Okay, so now once you're done, if you're after the change, don't worry about that. Now you can go to play now, choose current you Okay. When you go here, you have to use current rosters if you want this to work. So just choose what team you want. Make sure you choose the team that you actually did. It's just um Um, let's go. Um, I'm just showing you like that this works, okay, and how to actually use it, okay. So just choose whichever guy you want. So your guy is not going to be on the starting lineup. What you want, he's gonna be on the bench, depending how good he is. If you make him good, like you did mine, he's most likely gonna be the first person on the bench. So, my guy has some secondary positions, but I'm just going to replace him. Oh, no, wait. Okay, so yeah, this is my guy. We'll put him fourth. I'm actually just going to put him third, just to show you guys that, you know, just to show you guys how to, how, like, just to you use him, basically. So yeah, that's basically ha so yeah, um, I'm just gonna hit with him a bit now, um, so yeah, it's kind of disappointing how you can't go above 99 in any stats, but it's still cool how you can do this, um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, George Springer, you just follow the, the steps, he will and lead this one off today. You, once you, like, watch the video once, you should be able to just do it, like, kind of consistently. Here's the first pitch to him. You'll be able to help your friends. And that's Not inside for that a was ball. Hard, one First pick, one o'clock. That evens it up, one and one. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Strike one to start the at bat. During spring training, there was this funny sign where a guy was like, into the he was air, holding up the sign, away like center. the Astros center fielder the on the run. And then, like, the he gets there, and that's people the who worked the Astros actually came and took it from him because it's it was like offensive to the Michael team. It's funny because like they actually Michael did steal the sign. So striding in, it was Michael cool. Brantley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Oh, 
Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't. And yeah, as I said before, you can't use Sky Diamond Dynasty. Obviously, you can. That one bends like, into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. But so let's take a look at our umpire crew in this one. And you have to have like five Rusty years Valentine. Years. Hey, you know, Dio, so Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but. He's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with well, Rusty's zone, nice without question. You know... Wait. He's going to elevate it north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. 1-0 and oh, the count from the belt. Kicks and deals. Two and zero now. Down low and the plot. Oh yeah, so then there's also this setting that all the pros said that they like better. They said they like it like this, but I don't really get what the arrows mean. But if you go up and in here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Mm. Clearly oh, so the fooled there on the slider. That way, hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Yeah, okay. That a bit. Digging Billy it. Billy Guriel, his stats are kind of bad. Oh, wait, no, they're not. Yeah. Billy Guriel. Yeah, I guess just Great chance to drive in a run control. here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, one offering. One and one. So I think the lost error is whether Brent, they actually over at second. Us. Bregman at first, two out in the inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Oh, that's me. Make this a little bit outside. Come on. You're done all the oh, rest. Next, if they can keep this inning alive, a swing and a shot hit down the corner. Oh God, I'm bad. Nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. A swing and a miss. Right, now we actually get to do this. Check out my creative player. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. The second base player. Hit hard on the ground at third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So stepping in, Adam Frazier will get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. He looked like a caveman yeah, swing in the club on that one. It's 0-2 it. now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. in. Jam sandwich. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the foot out at first. And there are two away now. Into the box. Alexander Perry. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. I want to see how stats. I'll take it especially. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. If you see when you say, like, power or balance or contact or whatever, let's go. And, boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's only good advertising. Now. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Waved in and missed for the third. I'm about to win, but basically that's how it works. So if you guys are just always trying to find a thousand, make sure to smash the like and subscribe. And comment down below if you want to see more helpful videos like this and more videos of Elmer to show 20 in general. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Wait, you're done all the rest. He'll lead it off here to begin.